This is the Conway KW206 OBD2 Car HUD, that's Heads Up Display. Let's take it out of the box. In the box, you get the instruction manual, of course. Here is the Heads Up Display. I have not taken the plastic off the front of it just yet, but I will. Four buttons on the top. On the bottom here, you can see how it has uh, 3M adhesive tape there to stick it down. You can see how this will pivot as well, so you can get just the right angle you want. They give you the OBD2 cable, which is this here. It's an OBD2 connector to a, well, it looks like about a USB-C connector. And they also give you this for upgrading the software on it, which is USB to mini USB. So this is a HUD or heads up display and what this does is it will read all of the data through the OBD2 uh, computer on the car and display it on the screen. It's a 3.5 inch screen okay and this will display all sorts of data. You can have it display the vehicle speed read through the vehicle speed sensor the RPM of the engine, engine coolant temperature, the voltage of the battery and alternator. Um, there's actually a total of 95 different parameters you can set that this can display on there. And generally it has sort of a five up display where the center will be what you choose and then you can have like your engine coolant temperature, your vehicle speed, your voltage, and something else you know all depends on what you want and how you want to set it up I'm just gonna leave it as the defaults uh, for this test and we're gonna take it out to the car in just a minute this can also be set to have an alarm for certain parameters that you have on the screen for example if maybe your car's battery is on the fritz you can set it to beep at you in the event of a voltage problem. Let's say you're going on a long trip on unfamiliar roads and don't know where the cops hang out. Well, you can also set it so if you exceed, let's say, 75 miles per hour, it'll beep at you. Or if your engine coolant temperature, maybe your car is overheating or something like that, you can set that to beep at you if it gets into the danger zone anywhere. And of course, that's all fully adjustable there. Uh, this also can act to turn off the check engine light in your car and read out the diagnostic trouble codes. Basically what it does is it's just a display that sits there and will display that information. By putting it up on your dashboard, you don't have to look down at it, not watching the road. So that's the whole idea be behind it, heads up display. Also, another great thing with this, if for some reason the instrument cluster on your car is damaged or malfunctioning, well, you can get a heads-up display like this that will display all of the information that your instrument cluster normally would. So anyway, we're all set here. Let's go take this out to the car and take the car for a spin so you can see what it can do. The back of the unit has the white thing at the top is a sensor because it can also automatically adjust the screen brightness based on how light or dark it is outside. Below that is the USB-C connector where the power cable will plug in and the other end goes to the OBD2 port on your car and you'll then see a mini USB port where you can plug it in to upgrade the software on it and that's a little grill over there for the beeper inside. I did want to just show you, however, in here you can set up all of the different parameters here. Like I said, I'm going to leave everything at the default, but you could go down to OBD Diagnose in there and you can go over to Read Codes. This vehicle has no fault codes, but if there were some, it would display it there. So it can read out your codes and also reset them as well. Okay, I have the unit just sitting in the uh, little storage console in the car here. Um, this is not the proper place for it at all, whatsoever. But I'm not ready to mount this, so I'm going to leave it right there. And I think it'll be easier to record. 
So like I said, I'm just going to leave this as the default, and I'm going to start the engine up. So you can see how the RPM is there. If I rev it up, it's very responsive. Not too bad. The coolant temperature is going up right there. And of course, you can adjust all of these different things. Like I said, I'm just leaving it as a default. But I guess we're all set. So we'll go ahead and take this out. You should be able to see uh, all the gauges move. So we're going to take this out on the main road here. And everything that this is reading is, of course, fully accurate because, at least in this car, the uh, dashboard instrument cluster is displayed, uh, you know, it's controlled electronically from the computer. So whatever that's reading or what the gauges on the instrument cluster are reading, and as such, exactly what this unit here is reading as well. Turn down a side street over here. And now you get to see some stop and go driving just on side streets with uh, stop signs and whatnot around town. And that should give you a pretty good idea. And again, like I said, all of the parameters are fully adjustable. You could do English and metric. You could even have it rotate the entire display upside down in case you wanted to use that double stick tape to mount it to your windshield, sort of like a dash cam kind of thing. So that's certainly a viable option as well. All depends on your car and where you would like to place it. But all around, it seems to be a very nice functional unit. Excellent, excellent use for old cars that maybe the gauges are broken in, uh, or otherwise just to have so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. So once again, this was the Conway KW206 OBD2 Car HUD Heads Up Display. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.